So it looks like we have full-on spoilers for episode 10 of the Boruto anime, Boruto Naruto Next Generations. And honestly, this episode is kind of not necessarily looking like it's going to be a bad episode because we won't know obviously until we watch it but it's not looking as interesting as the past two episodes that was dealing more so with boruto's eye getting to see more naruto getting to see the hero clan this one one of the exciting things or most exciting things seemingly from what we can gather is that we're going to have an old naruto character that's going to be in that we haven't seen in a long time so that's going to be interesting but let's read the spoilers and we'll talk some more boruto naruto next generations episode 10 Ghost incident. Investigation begins. What is the identity of the mysterious shadow ghost Boruto makes his move? Boruto, Shikadai, and Mitsuki try to find the truth behind the ghost incident. Their teacher Shino tries to help, but... I hate when we get the butts. It's like... What do you mean, but... Independent investigation. As per Naruto's orders, an investigation independent of Boruto was decided to be conducted. Conducting the investigation, making full use of his root experience, he makes a serious discovery. And this week, Sai. Like, Sai isn't the most interesting character in the world, but to see him back is going to be a nice treat. Maybe we get a little bit of Inojin in there as well. I'm kind of curious. So, I'm guessing the ghost thing that they're talking about is the power that Boruto keeps on seeing with his eye. That, like, you know, that little monster that every time when somebody falls out of depravity and, you know, they're back to being normal, it kind of goes away from them. I'm assuming that that's what they're talking about. Uh, having Sai in there is going to be interesting. I think we did in the preview see a little shot of Donzo, so that's kind of hinting more about Sai as well. I'm kind of curious to see how much he's changed over the years. I mean, from what I remember, the little inklings that we did get of Sai and like, you know, some of the stuff from Boruto or whatever, I think the movie and whatnot, he seems to be like the same guy. He hasn't really changed too much, but it's going to be a, a cool treat to see again another classic Naruto character or somewhat classic Naruto character in the upcoming Boruto episode. But uh, I mean, I'm excited to a certain degree. I mean, bringing back Shino, uh, depending on how they handle it, it could be interesting. I just hope it's not back to those same old classroom episodes that we have for the first few or whatever, because they were good. But after the last lesson, I was kind of like, okay, we could kind of get past it. Maybe Shino won't be able to do things because he already had the, you know, infection, so to speak. So they're not going to want him on the mission. There's a couple ways they could go about this. But either way, kind of interesting what you guys think about this, though. How do you feel about this episode? Do you think it's going to be good? What do you think about Psy returning? Are you interested? You don't give a fuck. You never liked Psy to begin with. And your expectations and predictions for this one. Personally, I'm not all that excited for this. I'm going to be honest with you. Hopefully, it proves me wrong. But that's all I have for this quick one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, draw me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm for that world. And as always, people, have an awesome day.